What's up squad, my name is ESO and welcome back to the channel. In today's daily Skyrim video guide, I will actually be explaining the importance of shadow marks, the secret key to knowing what houses have the best loot to rob, and where you can find secret high value weapons and loot stashes, and also a few secret passages and hiding places as well. And guys, if you haven't already, make sure you smash that subscribe button and then also click the small bell icon next to it. Then you'll get notifications as soon as one of my daily Skyrim video guides comes out. But to actually discover all these shadow marks, we need to use this book that can be found in the Ragged Flagon in Riften, the home of the Thieves Guild in Skyrim. It's just on the side here, and the book is written by Delvin Malaron. So now we're going to go over each mark and what that mark means. And then I'll show you a few examples and where you can find them in the game after each one. And you'll realize quite quickly how useful these shadow marks actually are. And guys, also, if you give this video a thumbs up right now and the video gets enough likes, I will make a shadow mark location guide for every single city in Skyrim. So now let me tell you guys about the shadow marks. Need to know your way around, eh? Don't want to stumble into a necromancer's house or fall under another trap set by the city guard? Then you need to read this book from cover to cover. Learning to identify the shadow mark can mean the difference between making a fortune and ending up with a blade in your gut. The clever little marks are carved all over Skyrim, mostly on the door frames or fronts of buildings but you can find them pretty much anywhere a thief has been. It's the way we talk to one another without talking keeps the newer thieves from becoming dead thieves and all that nonsense. There aren't that many of the bloody things, so I don't want to hear any excuses about not having the time to learn them. You heard the man. Anyway, enough of my gabbing. Time to put your wizard's cap on and do a little research. Glossary of Shadow Marks. So the first one is the most simple one the guild, which is represented by this sideways sort of turned eye that almost looks like a hole. This is the symbol for the guild. This means the place is as safe as the flagon's cistern. If you see this shadow mark, someone from the guild is nearby for certain. Now most of the time you'll come across the guild shadow mark during the main thief guild quest line, but there's actually one secret location that you can find it in the town of Raven Rock on the island of Solfheim. And if you come over to this location, it will really pay off. Once you've reached Raven Rock, just head over to the Smiths at the end of the street here. But rather strangely, there's actually a guild shadow mark by this door. This is in fact Glover Mallory Smith. Glover is Delvin Mallory's brother who we met in the Thieves Guild. And if we go inside Mallory's basement, he actually has the best set of thief armor in the entire game. But you will actually require a key in order to unlock his basement where this armor is hidden. And I'll leave two guides on how to get it in the description. One guide will show you how to get it at level 1 and the other guide will show you how to do the several quests to get the key properly. But if you are a member of the Thieves Guild already you can actually ask Malaroy about the shadow mark outside of his door. To which he'll reply. Well well, it's been a long time since someone from the guilds bothered to make their way out here. So tell me, how's my brother Delvin? Still spending his nights at the Ragged Flagon trying to win Vex's heart? Good to hear. Tam Layabout never even bothers to send his own flesh and blood a letter saying how he's doing. Can you imagine? Anyway, I suppose you're looking for work. So this next page in the Shadow Mark book shows us the sign for safe. We usually leave this Shadow Mark when we've scouted and found a safe way around something. A hallway without traps or maybe a house that's already been cleared out. If you see one of these, head the way it's pointing and you'll be fine. There are actually very few of these in the game. Like for example, you'll find one in Whiterun. 
It can be seen as soon as you enter the city if you turn around and then drop into the sewers under the bridge here. You'll see the safe shadow mark just under the bridge carved into the wall. But it's not actually safe, because if you're being chased by the guards, they will still come down here, and apparently the whole empire will come down here as well. It's the most unsafe place in the entire game apparently. Clearly Malaroy was just messing with us on this one. No place is safe for a thief. There is actually a mod you can download which adds some more actual safe locations to the game, like safe houses and that kind of thing, and it's really fun for role playing. You can check out my video on that in the description if you're interested. But anyway guys, here we go, onto the next page, the next shadow mark. The danger mark. If you see this shadow mark, head the other way, or take your life into your hands. It means there's something ahead or beyond that door that wants to turn you inside out. These can be rather useful. For example, Armand's house here in Whiterun is marked with it, just here on the wall. You're not supposed to be in here. Because he's actually a skilled warrior, and unless you want to get beaten up and killed by him, you should probably stay well clear. There are plenty other places to rob after all. The only alternative way to rob these kinds of houses is to either not get caught stealing or trespassing, or to just kill the owner before looting the place. But at the same time, that can lead to other issues. So it's just good to know really. For the next page in the book we have the escape route. Now on the rare occasion, it better be the rare occasion if you want to work in this guild, that you find yourself in jail. Look for this little beauty, you see this shadow mark and escape is just a few steps away. As the journal tells us, this shadow mark is pretty much always found in jails. And as you can see, it looks like there's a hole and then an arrow pointing down the hole. And that is the case here in Whiterun Jail. We can see the shadow mark just on the floor here. To actually get out the jail, it's usually a quite hard leveled lock depending on your level. But if we look here under where the shadow mark is, there's a body we can move out of the way and you'll find a sewer grate with only a novice lock. And as we only have one lock pick, we're definitely going to go for this novice lock. So if we pick this, we can actually just escape out of this area. So for most jails in Skyrim, just look for this shadow mark and it will lead you to an easier way to escape that jail. On the next page we have the protected shadow mark and as you can see guys this is a diamond shape to represent the thieves guild and then it's got two rings that are interjoined to represent some kind of partnership and we put these shadow marks on places we don't want you to go. As in stay out of there or there's going to be a boot up the backside. These people are under the guild's protection and should never be robbed or assaulted. A good example of this is here in Windhelm where some of the most valuable houses in the game can be found. But here we can see the protection mark on the house of Clan Cruelcy. And if you come inside this house and steal any items or assault any of the residents here, you may be kicked out of the guild. So it's good to be aware of what the protection shadow mark looks like so you can watch out for it. Rather sadly though, this is one of the largest houses in Windhelm to rob. So if you're quick about it and you don't get caught, looting the place can pay off. Usually though, places that are protected by the Thieves Guild have a role to play in the guild questline or the random guild quests, so it's just good to be aware of them. Now we begin to get to the more exciting pages. Firstly we have the fence. This should quickly become your favourite shadow mark. The person near this mark will buy your hard earned stolen goods for a fair price. Personally this isn't my favourite shadow mark, but you'll actually find that there are 6 fences in Skyrim and seven if you count all the Khajiit caravans. For example, Huntingbrew Meadery just outside of Whiterun actually bears the fence shadow mark. So somebody in this house is a fence that you can go and sell your goods to. You'll find some of these fences will be unlocked during the main quest line of the Thieves Guild, but there are a few hidden ones that you can actually locate their houses using the fence shadow mark, and then you can go and do a quest for them to help them out and then you'll be allowed to sell them stolen goods. So it's always good to keep an eye out and check those houses that you see, especially in Windhelm and Markov. Hint hint. Hunting brew uses only the finest natural honey, not that sludge you'll find at Golden Glow Estate. Next up, we get to my favourite shadow marks in this book, the Thieves' Cache. 
Who says we only take and never give back? If you find this shadow mark near a chest or maybe a hollowed log, you are in for a surprise. A gift from the guild for the thief in the field. Whoever said membership didn't have its privileges. This one is awesome guys, and I'll be covering some of the caches in Riften in this video. So basically, to get the first one it's really easy. Just start from the Bee and Barb in Riften, and then come over to where your house would be if you've brought one yet. At the back corner, down this alleyway, just at the end of your garden on the left here, you'll find your first thief cache. As you can see, it's marked with the symbol of a diamond, with coins within it. And this is crazy, my character's only level 20 and you will reliably find glass arrows in these barrels. And you will also usually get an enchanted dagger or bow as well. And tons of gems too. There's so much value in each one of these containers and depending on your character's level, you'll get even higher valued loot or enchantments. And we can find more of these in Riften, so next we're going to come over to the Riften Canals, just where the entrance to the Rataway is. But instead we're going to go right and continue onwards until you see a few barrels. This barrel here, just in the middle, bearing the shadow mark, will give you more arrows, gems, and even another enchanted dagger. It's completely random every time you go here, and all these barrels will respawn. So next guys, we're going to turn around and we're going to head over to Riften's Keep. I need to ask you to stop. Good. Glad we straightened that out. We're going to need to head over to the guards barracks, which is on the left here. Just go through the guards training area and head on through this door. Once within, go upstairs and follow where I go to get to the keep's balcony. This one's pretty cool because if ever you find yourself in prison in Riften, you can just come here after for some weaponry. It will be randomly either a bow or a dagger, but that's half the fun. So you'll find it just among some other barrels just here. And guys, these secret barrels will appear after you've done or sometimes even just started the quest for that particular city. So for example, to unlock Riften, you just need to join the Thieves Guild, and then you can get all the caches I showed you in this video. But you can find the other Shadow Mark locations for each city down below in the description. So next up, the next page in the book, it can only get more exciting, because now we have the Loot Shadow Mark, and this is just a circle with some coins within it. There's something near this shadow mark worth stealing. Saves you from breaking into the place only to find people don't even have two septums to rub together. And you'll pretty much find that most houses in any major city will have a marked loot icon if they've got anything of value worth robbing. So just for an example, as we're already in Riften, let's go over to Elgrim's Elixir. Obviously this is actually a shop, so we've already got tons of poisons we can steal on this table here. But then if you come round into the living quarters, you can see there's a coin purse just here behind the bed. And you'll also sometimes find some expensive books. As well as some chests you can loot later. In this particular location, there's also a strong box on the bedside table just here. Another thing that a lot of people forget is that the loot shadow mark this usually means that the everything. people that live here are quite rich. So it's always worth checking and seeing hey, if you can pickpocket them life. to get any more loot out of it. But this shadow mark really is the one to look for. After you discover a few good houses to rob, you can just go around the whole of Skyrim on like a robbery run, and then go to one of your fences and sell all your goods to them. And now we have the last page in the Shadow Mark book. Empty. The page you did not want to read nor you want to find. Well actually, it is good to know this one. The opposite of the Loot Shadow Mark. Pass on this place. There's nothing inside. An excellent example of this one is just opposite Elgrim's Elixirs. You will find Beggar's Row. And as you can see on the doorstep just here, it's marked with the empty Shadow Mark. And of course, if you guys go inside, 
you'll literally just find nothing apart from where the homeless and also one of the merchants of Riften sleep. Though the Argonian that sleeps here can sometimes have some gold on him and be quite good to pickpocket, most of the time when you search these empty locations, you won't find anything of real value to you. Especially as the case might be that the door could be locked and you'll just waste your time picking it. So there's no point, just skip the location. So now you have seen all nine shadow marks and I hope that they come in handy on your travels. If you want more thieving tips, make sure you check out my top 10 thief character build tips down below in the description because that's going to come in handy. And if you haven't already guys, make sure you smash that subscribe button and also hit that little bell icon next to it so you don't miss any of my daily Skyrim videos. But once again guys, thanks for all your support over the last few months. I really appreciate it. I cannot believe we're at 700,000 subscribers now. I never thought we'd get this far. So thank you for watching me ESO and I will see you Laurel subscriber in the next Skyrim video guide. Have a fantastic day and goodbye.